How are you? So so. Kind of slow on Monday. Kind of like blue Monday. You live in the city? I live in the city. I have a one room hotel room. You know? Yeah. I pay $590 a month. Boy. It takes just about all my veteran money. I have about 150 <laughs> bucks left. You know? For food. Barely enough. Barely enough. And if you get sick? Well, the veterans, they take care of us. So. At least. Yeah, so, yeah. As long as you get an honorable discharge, you can help kids. Yeah. Do you have any sons or uh, kids? Daughters, yeah. I have one son. One son. Yeah. And is he in touch? We are very much in touch with one another. What is he doing? He's uh, breeding dogs. He breeds dogs. Yeah. He breeds dogs. And he can't help more. Well, he doesn't want to help more. He's got three kids himself, you know. So he barely can keep up. Yeah, he can barely keep up. And he's out there in that high rent district area, Antioch, and they were about to take his house and everything. So oh, they are? They, they were about to. Wow. Because of that, when you borrow money against your house. You know. Do you feel you did something wrong? No, I don't feel I've done anything wrong. You know, um, I had a little big problem when I lost my wife. You know? Yeah. It kind of set me back and threw me for a, a real big... We were married 27 years, you know, and yeah. when I lost her, I just picked up everything. Liquor, weed, marijuana, I mean, yeah. you know, I picked up everything. Cocaine, heroin, pills. Yeah. I was trying to hide it, you know? Oh, yeah. I was fortunate to meet some people over here in San Francisco that helped me turn my life around. Fortunately or unfortunately? Fortunately, yeah. Yeah. I was fortunate. And they told me to start thinking of myself and not so much, you know. But, uh, but I feel there's something wrong with the system. As far as some people got billions and others don't have even a shelter or food. What do you feel? Well, you know, it's been the way of the world. Everything. It's just a hard time, you know, when people are rich, they're just rich and they forget about the poor, you know? Yeah. The rich get richer and the poor gets poor, you know? And it's just the way it is, you know? Ever since yeah. I can remember, you know? Do you have, do you have any friends? Yeah. Are you in touch with them? Yes, I am. Yeah, but it's 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 hard for you to go and visit them, don't, isn't it? No, I, I plan on going to see my sisters on Thanksgiving, and my son is going to bring his kids over to. Where, where do they live? In Berkeley. That's nice. I try to make holidays. I do. Yeah. No, I think you're really in a very interesting personality. I think you're making the best of what you have. That's remarkable. Yes, I am. That's 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 the best you could do, and you really. Staying insane too, which is but which deep, is hard to do. But deep down inside, I am very disgusted. Yeah, I am. Disgusted with? with 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 the world not trying to help the poor. Just as like you brought it up a minute ago, but the rich gets richer and the people have billions. Um, yeah. That's the way it is, you know. And I just have to live it up, you know. I'm uh, out of it ever has will change, you know. Um, uh, let me ask you this, uh, so when did you come back from Vietnam? I came back from Vietnam in 63. Uh, six, seven months after that I went to work for United. Yeah. For, for what? United. United Airlines? Yeah, United Airlines. How long did you work for them? I worked for United 19 years. You're kidding me? No, I'm not kidding. Wow. What did you do for United? I was on the ramp. I worked on the ramp. When was the last time you had a job? Uh, that was in uh, 87, you know, and that's when I got hurt. You got hurt. What happened? Um, I was hit by a pushback tug that pushes the plane back. At to, the airport? At the airport, yeah. And? And at that time, to be real honest, if you didn't ask me, so I don't want to lie to you. Yeah. I had marijuana in my system when they tested me. So? So they cut me a deal. No medical, but full retirement. Okay. So what does that mean? I, I, I took the full retirement with no medical. But lo and behold, by me having the honorable discharge, I had Vietnam, I mean, I had veterans, veterans uh, health care. 